La Perla is a Mexican adaptation of John Steinbeck's short novel, The Pearl. It was filmed in 1947 and forms part of what is known as the Mexican Golden Age of cinema, which lasts from 1936 to 1956. During that 20-year period, Mexico's film industry was very popular, not only in Mexico, but also throughout Latin America and in such faraway places as Czechoslovakia. The idea during this period was to create films that presented an alternative to the Hollywood style and Hollywood films <clears throat> that were so uh, popular uh, throughout much of the world. The cinematography in particular is quite interesting. The film won a Golden Glo Globe for cinematography in 1949. The director of photography is Gabriel Figueroa, probably the most iconic cinematographer in Mexico who studied during the middle of the 1930s with Greg Toland, who of course is the groundbreaking uh, photographer who worked with Ols Orson Welles on Citizen Kane. Uh, Gabriel Figueroa also worked with a number of directors within Mexico and with directors outside of Mexico. Uh, he worked uh, a number of times with the Spanish director, Luis Buñuel, for example, who was in exile in Mexico and also worked with a number of North American directors, including John Ford and John Huston. Uh, his most productive uh, participation with a director was probably with Emilio Fernandez, often known as El Indio, Emilio El Indio Fernandez. Together they worked uh, for over 12 years and produced 23 films. Many critics will suggest that their style together best represents the style of the Mexican golden age of cinematography. Together, Gabriel Figueroa and Emilio Fernandez try to tell specifically Mexican stories. You'll notice the location, the people, the objects, the places is a representation of a Mexican reality. Although that also represents one of the major complaints about the Fernandez-Figueroa style. And that is that frequently the Mexico that these two artists present is not one that is very real. It feels more like a picture postcard representation, a very stylized representation of what Mexico would look like. If we generalize, we can suggest that most films fall in the middle of two poles, formalism and realism. It's quite obvious that La Perla falls a little closer to formalism, being a very stylized form. In part, that's because Gabriel Figueroa was very influenced by a number of other artists, including Sergei Eisenstein, who filmed Que Viva Mexico uh, in Mexico, and also by a number of Mexican artists, including the famous muralist from uh, Mexico, D uh, Rivera, Orozco, and Siqueiros. In other words, often uh, Figueroa's style feels closer to still photography or painting than to moving pictures. In part, that's because he tends to pose his characters in the very important first scene in which the native population, the villagers, are looking out to the ocean. They seem very stiff. That's not bad acting. That's part of the style. It's very intentional. In addition, Gabriel Figueroa and Emilio Fernandez tend to try to create a frame by placing objects at the sides of the image. There are some other techniques that are common in Gabriel Figueroa's cinematography that you will see in La Perla. One is the use of diagonal lines, especially towards the end of the film. You'll notice as the protagonists are making their way across the Mexican countryside, the Figueroa uses diagonal lines. He places his camera to use the landscape to create those lines, or he tilts his camera to force that line. This is a very stylized representation, and it has the tendency to suggest danger uh, or distress, or that something is not right. Some other possibilities are the use of uh, dialectical elements, for example, light versus dark, sky versus land, man versus woman. Uh, that's very common in Gabriel Figueroa's cinematography. He also tends to use deep focus, which is something that he learned working with Greg Toland. He also has a tendency to use sharp angles, high angles, low angles. They're very formalized, very stylized, and create a very specific image in the film. Perhaps the most important element, however, is the use of skies. Uh, in Mexico, they have a tendency to talk about Los Cielos de Figueroa. It's a technique that was so common. In other words, the skies of Gabriel Figueroa. What Figueroa would do is frequently use a low angle to drop the horizon line and emphasize the sky and especially the clouds. 
And this was a way that Gabriel Figueroa believed that he could create something that was unique to Mexican film. He had a tendency to want to follow Hollywood in some aspects, but to also to break from Hollywood. If it was common in Hollywood to emphasize the human body and use closer images, Figueroa often uses long shots and emphasizes instead of lines the curves and the spheres that he finds in the skies and the clouds of Mexico. Look for Gabriel Figueroa's skies and enjoy La Perla, especially the photography, as an outstanding example of the films of the 20-year period of the golden age of Mexican film and also as an excellent example of the style that was created by Gabriel Figueroa and Emilio Fernandez.